All right, what is up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a bittersweet video because as you saw by the title and the thumbnail, we are actually selling our custom carbon wide body Lamborghini Urus. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Okay, so before I go over all of the features and modifications and upgrades that this car has, and it has quite a few, um, I just want to explain very briefly why we are selling the car. Um, we actually do love this car. It's been probably between this and my R8, my favorite car I've ever owned. Um, but originally from the get-go, we just wanted to get a GLE AMG 63S. Um, that's what we wanted originally. And the main reason why is the GLE still has the same, well not the same, but it has a twin turbo V8 making about the same horsepower. Um, and it has great interior and it's half the cost. This car was almost $300,000. The GLE, we were actually able to get a, uh, an allocation from our local uh, Mercedes dealership. So shout out to Sun Motors. Um, and it's actually coming next month. So we no longer have a need for two SUVs. Um, it's half as much as this car and it just makes more sense uh, from a daily standpoint. Uh, to just keep the GLE. So that's why we're selling it. Um, it's an awesome car and it has a ridiculous amount of modifications. Um, I'm gonna put the link to the uh, Auto Trader ad in the description below. Uh, I'm gonna do it the same way we did it with the, um, the GTR Pro. So if you're interested, you can contact me through the Auto Trader ad, through Instagram at Jarrett Campisi, or through Gmail, uh, Jarrett Campisi at gmail.com. Um, once we decide on a, a price for whoever wants to purchase it, we're gonna do the wholesale through Sun Motors Mercedes, which is our local Mercedes dealership, um, for everyone's safety involved. Uh, it was just way easier to do it that way. So again, if you're interested, click the Auto Trader ad or message me on Instagram or shoot me an email. So when it comes to modifications for this car, um, we kind of went, we went all out basically. Um, but the beauty is all of the modifications that we've done to this car, um, they can all be put back to stock if you would want to do that, which I wouldn't think that anyone would ever want to do that. But um, there was no, so like the carbon wide body kit, it was a no cut kit. So we didn't cut any of the panels of the car. They can be put back to stock if, if you ever wanted to. Um, we did spend, I think over $50,000 on modifications for this car. And I looked for about, man, probably four months to find an Urus that was spec'd correctly. Um, the one thing about Lamborghinis is you actually need to spec them out, the Earth in particular, to get things like um, self-drive, you know, heated and cooled, massaging seats, which this has with the perforated leather, uh, the nice stitching, uh, contrast stitching, um, you know, the Lamborghini crest on the headrest. Um, it even, you can't see it right now, but there's Lamborghini logos, crest logos on all four, do four doors that light up the ground when you open them. Um, it has the Bang & Olufsen 3D surround sound system, which was a 6,500 option from factory. Um, it's fully spec'd out. It has all the driving modes, which is really cool. You got Street, Sport, Corsa, which is race, Sabia, which is uh, sand, I believe, Terra and Neve. Terra's off-road, Neve is snow. So you have all your driving modes, and it's just a phenomenal, it's so well spec'd out. And like I said, I looked for a long time to find this. It's a very high window sticker car. Um, has the carbon ceramic brakes. It has the 22 inch rims. And yeah, it just looks really, really good. So as far as modifications to the car, the first thing we did was um, the window tint. It is heat resistant ceramic window tint. So I think we did maybe 20% all around. Well, except for the front and, and the rear. Um, so it does have full window tint, which is really nice. We did this wrap in Shane Designs, did the wrap for us. Um, it is a full uh, satin uh, black wrap, which is really nice. We uh, did a ceramic coating on it. Uh, I believe it's a three year ceramic coat, um, just like all of our other cars. We did the Nero carbon wide body kit. So um, that include just this kit on its own was like 27 grand or something like that. You have the beautiful carbon uh, front diffuser. You've got the side panels and there you can see the name right there, Nero carbon. Um, we've got the uh, wheel arches uh, front and back, which are really nice. They add just enough. We did do wheel spacers on this. Uh, they're high quality wheel spacers. You can see them in there. All the work was performed by West Shore Auto Center. They're an authorized dealership or an authorized, um, what's it called? Mechanic shop. So they do great work. Um, you can even see, if I open this, the carbon side skirt, which looks absolutely incredible. <clears throat> and then we also did the rear diffuser, 
which is massive and it looks so good and it hides all of that stuff under there. In stock form, you could actually kind of see the exhaust a little bit, which didn't look the best. So now that's all under there, carbon fiber. And they're, usually they're not even body matched, they're like silver. So it makes a big difference with how it looks. Um, we can include this if you guys want the carbon license plate uh, surround. And then even has the big carbon wing, which really makes a difference with the car. So that's the body kit. Uh, we did powder coat the wheels. They were stock, stock they were silver, which we didn't like. Um, so we did a high quality powder coat on those. Glossy powder coat turned out incredible. We also did um, Fab Speed Sport downpipes along with their tune. So the Sport downpipes, the reason why we did those, they do have catalytic converters. They're just Sport. Uh, versions which means they flow about 95% of the air of a straight pipe so you get all the sound and none of the downfall it's totally street legal which is super nice um, it does still have a warranty until 2021 uh, sorry until January of 2024 2021 is is the year of the car so I guess I should have mentioned that it's a 2021 Lamborghini Urus um, it has just over 15,000 miles and again, it's been fully serviced. We kept up with all the service. We have all the service records. Um, and like I said, yeah, we did, we did actually just replace the stock tires. Um, they were pretty much done. We put winter tires on it. They were $2,800 for this set of tires. We're just gonna throw them in. So you'll have brand new winter tires. It'll be ready to go for winter. Um, and I can't, am, am I missing? Oh, we did a carbon fiber steering wheel as well, um, which is also heated. So you get a heated carbon wheel and it's um, Alcantara on the sides. And it's absolutely so thick and juicy. stunning. Yeah, it, yeah, it's a little bit thicker, which feels really good feels in your really hand, good. right teens? You like feels really thicker good hands, in your hands? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so that's, ah, man, I'm probably forgetting something. Oh, it does have all the rear um, passenger climate controls. climate controls. Yep, the seats fold down completely. You can put four, adults in here totally fine with that um, and have plenty of space and even like we use this as our daily so obviously you can get groceries in here you can take a snowboarding supply deer feed in uh -huh. here. <laughs> there's a lot of space in this car and like i said it's actually shocked me how good this car was i wasn't expecting it to be as good as it is um it is a there's twin it. yeah it gets a lot of attention um which is part of the reasons why we didn't really want to keep it as a daily because sometimes you just don't want to be bothered and you can't go anywhere in this car without being fi filmed you know or whatever so um if you if you don't want attention then this is not the car for you but um the other thing is it has a twin turbo v8 stock it was 650 horsepower after the downpipes and tune it now makes uh well over 700 so it is one of the fastest Urus's around um, and one of the night I think one of the nicely most nicely modded Urus's that are even available yes that sounds good it still does have the stock exhaust there was really no need to change that because when you yeah when you open yeah when you open the valves it basically becomes like a straight pipe anyway and with the tune that we did with fab speed we did a max crackle tune you can totally change that if you don't want that but the nice thing is in street mode it's not super loud so you can kind of hear when it's, no, don't idle, don't rev it. So just idling, I can talk next to this. It's no big deal. And then you heard it. Yeah, so this is with the valves open in street mode. Um, oh, by the way, when we drove this car in stock mode, the shifting was not that good. Remember how delayed they were? Yeah. After the tune with from fast speed, they actually made the shifts much smoother and much faster, and it drives way better in every drive mode, not just street mode. So street mode, it still feels just like a stock car. Sport mode, it feels obviously a little bit sportier, and then race is like all out. Filled up the gas earlier this week, 105 miles. Yeah, I've seen that tank. actually say 500 yeah. for, a t for so a full if, tank of gas. If you drive, you get pretty good. In street mode, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can see just how incredibly gorgeous everything is in here. So you have your regular screen there. You've got touch screen controls for all of your... Um... Yeah, and you hear how quiet it so is. Quiet. Oh, it also has air suspension. So it raises and lowers. You can see it raising up right now in street mode. And then in snow mode, it raises up even higher. Obviously off-road. Once she puts it in the race, look at that. Look how much it lowers down. That's freaking insane. So like if you want to park and have your car lowered, look at that. Again. Yeah, so there's. <laughs> we 
just washed the car yesterday. That's just water coming out of the pipes. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that. So yeah, it's um, it's it's a badass car. Yeah, if it wasn't so insanely expensive, I would probably keep it for a daily. But it just seems a little bit ridiculous to be driving around people's houses. And yeah, we we wanted the Mercedes from the from the beginning. Um, yeah, we waited a long time. So that's it. This thing is gonna be available. I'm not sure what I'm gonna list it for yet. I gotta look. There's other wide body Urses online that are listed for $400,000, $500,000. Yeah, so um, obviously I'm not gonna ask that much. We're not even gonna ask for like everything we put into it. We just wanna get a normal, like a decent price out of it and we'll be happy. Um, so I don't know what I'm gonna be listing for, maybe 280-ish, somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to like make a bunch of money. Well, we're not gonna make any money off of it. But um, yeah, there it is. So. Our carbon wide body Lamborghini Urus is officially for sale. So if you guys are interested, like I said, Auto Trader ad will be linked in the description below. If you have friends or family that might be interested, please share it with them. Um, if you have any questions about it, you can message me on Instagram and uh, Gmail as well. And again, the sale is going to go through Sun Motors Mercedes. Um, we don't have like we don't have to sell it like immediately. It doesn't matter if we get our other car before this is sold. So we're not really in a hurry. Um, but Obviously, the sooner the better, so that's it. If somebody wants our Urus, I would love it to be a subscriber. I think that'd be super cool. Um, let us know, right? Yep. Do you have anything to say? No. Nope. You're gonna miss it? Yeah, of course. Yeah. A part of me will. Yeah, I will too. Again, if you guys have questions, comments, drop them in the comment section below. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up. Subscribe for more, and we'll see you all in the next one.